So aloha and welcome everyone to the Tao Wellness Practice. And as you know, this practice is really to help you with your part of, you know, we always say we have our part to do, heaven has their part. We get a blessing, but we can't just say, oh, I'm already healed. We need to practice. And that's why we have this Tao Wellness Practice. So all of you now, Turn on your treasures, and I want you to make sure that when your treasures are turned on, you can make sure whatever, you know, you can just say all of my treasures turn on because, but unless some of you are really focusing on a certain area, you can focus on that area to heal, rejuvenate yourself. But for some of you would like just a blessing, just turn on your treasures and the Tao will choose which one is most appropriate for you, okay? So you can say, please, all of my treasures turn on as I do the practice in the Tao field. Um, I turned on all of my um, calligraphies at this time. You know, I have several here. I have the Da Ai. Um, I have, uh, up, oh, maybe you can see this one. Tao the the eye, okay, and then but it's turned on. So even if you can't see it, what happens is you are in the field and practicing with me. It's not the Tao um, Shang Ai Ping An Hashi anymore. It's not the Love Peace Army. We did that practice earlier, but this is the other field that you know Master Shaw creates. Every single calligraphy has a field. And so we practice in this field, and I'm hoping that more will join us. I know they are on a different um, session, event right now, and I know several said, I will come on at it's when it's over. I'm not sure what time it's going to be over. Normally it's supposed to be over at 8.30, but Master Shah is on today, so um, and I'm glad that it's going to be uh, recorded so that I can watch the next 30 minutes of his event. Anytime you're with Master Shah, oh my gosh, the power is so great because his frequency and vibration is so high. So when you are in the presence of someone who's who has a high frequency, high dimensional soul standing, you get more of the blessings, more of the uh, wonderful uh, whatever um, healing that you can receive, right? So um, I thank you all for joining today so that you can make this field a very powerful one because your presence, you know, magnifies our um, field as well. So at this time, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to connect with, I'm going to connect right now with I wonder if this is, uh, no, I want to, um, let me see. I wanted Da Quan Chu, but I think I have, let me see if I can put Da Quan Chu on. No. <laughs> oh, here we go. I hope you can see Da Quan Chu, greatest forgiveness. Because this yes. is really, thank you, Naomi. This is the key for our really healing to take place because we need to remove. When you forgive others, these are the negative uh, messages and negative information that we carry when we cause others harm, hurt, you know, or sorrow. And so we want to remove that. So we need to do forgiveness. So what we're going to do at this time is we're going to do our forgiveness practice as well as our invocation. So close your eyes, everyone. Dear divine, the Tao, the source. Dear, the Tao calligraphy of Da Quan Chu. Dear, all of our divine and Tao treasures. We love you. We honor you and we appreciate you. We are so grateful that we can ask that our calligraphy 
to be turned on. Ask that our holy beings to join us and ask that our uh, divine endowed treasures are also turned on. So as we do the practice, it will become so powerful. We are very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we ask all the souls that our ancestors and I have hurt or harmed throughout my lifetime Please forgive me. I deeply apologize for any hurt or harm that I have caused you and your loved ones. And in order to be forgiven, I need to serve. To serve is to make others happier and healthier. And so that is what we're doing today. We're going to be serving. I also call the souls that have hurt my ancestors and all of us here. We say to you, we love you. Even if you have made mistakes towards us as well. And we forgive you unconditionally. Now this unconditional forgiveness must come from your heart and soul. And you say, I forgive you unconditionally. I only wish for your happiness, your good health, flourishing, wonderful relationships, and much, much more. And you know, when you can forgive someone who hurt you or your loved one, and I know it is difficult, but that is what is necessary in order for us to actually grow and heal ourselves as well. So you say, we are so grateful that we can offer our forgiveness and we can you know accept your forgiveness so we thank you from the bottom of our hearts thank you thank you thank you so this is da quan shu da is greatest quan shu right here up now this is a little more difficult so watch this I'm hoping you can see my cursor, my blue. Can you see it? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. I'm going very slowly. So go. So when you are tracing this pathway, what is happening? You are connecting to the source. You are connecting to the field, this Tao calligraphy field which brings so much light to you, okay? So if you're having difficult time tracing, you can just absorb, you can sit here, breathe in the feel, okay? But for those of you who can, put your five fingers together and trace, or you can trace with your lower abdomen, which is even more powerful, okay? And then I will sing, and I will sing Master Shah's mantra, which is the 10 greatest qualities. So every single mantra, he has 10 qualities, right? So every single quality has 10 um, sacred lines. So we're going to sing the sacred lines of Da Quan Chu right now. And um, I will just sing it once in um, Mandarin and then the rest in English so that maybe the People who are new come on on Facebook will understand what we are doing. Okay, so let us begin. So you can be tracing. Da Quan Shu. Da Quan Shu. Da Quan Chu Da Qua on right here Chu Greatest Forgiveness I forgive you you Forgive me, bring love, peace, and 
harmony in Mandarin. Da Quan Chu Mo Wan Yang Di Di Wan Yang Wo Chang Hai Ping An Ho Greatest forgiveness, I forgive you, you forgive me, bring love, peace, and harmony. Now, if you can even visualize the person that hurt you or you hurt, bring their souls in, in this session, in this field, and ask that you be forgiven and that they forgive you, okay? And so when you have their souls here, because some of you in past lifetimes, we may not know who we hurt or harm, but in this lifetime, you may know that some people hurt you so bad that you say, oh, I, I'm having a hard time forgiving. Bring their soul in here and say, I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Okay? So visualize their soul in front, in this presence of the field. Greatest forgiveness, I forgive you, you forgive me, bring love, peace, and harmony. Sometimes it's very difficult to forgive, but you need to let go. As Master Shah says, if you cannot let go, we cannot move forward on our spiritual journey. So let go and forgive and bring more love and peace and harmony to their souls as well as others. Greatest forgiveness I forgive you you forgive me bring love peace and harmony bring love peace and harmony and when we say how h a o that means whatever we did at this time was perfect excellent all is well you know and especially when you are singing from the bottom of your hearts forgiving those that have hurt you and asking for forgiveness this is how we start to heal. So thank you everyone for doing this beautiful forgiveness practice. It's very, very important. Okay, so at this time, we are going to open our hearts further. I'm looking at my chart here because sometimes I forget exactly what to do. I say open heart, share animation. So let me share an animation. Okay. Let me see. I did have it, but it doesn't seem to be on. I don't know. If, okay, let me try. Okay, I'm hoping that you can see the green book. Yes. Thank you, Naomi. Okay, so we're going to do the step one on opening our hearts okay so open your hearts wide so that the rest of the practice you can receive because the heart 
actually is the receiver, okay? So let us open our hearts. And all of the practices that we do are divine and our treasures are turned on. Uh, Oops, so, sorry. Uh, I wanted to say more. Our treasures are turned on. So these practices that you are doing at this time will be your 50%, right? We receive the blessings from heaven. And heaven says we need to do our 50%. So here is your 50% of the practice. Open your heart so that we can receive. And so when we do the other practices, it'll be more powerful. Okay, let me begin uh, again. Uh, Breathe in. Uh, Clearing out your heart chakra, opening it widely. Uh, Also make the motion, breathing in uh, and then bring out, uh, open wide. You can do that if you wish. Breathe in. Uh, okay, let's do it one more time. Very important to open. Uh, So we're very, very grateful that we are opening our hearts to receive more as we do the next practice of the Chi Channel. Now, the Chi Channel, as you all know, is the healing channel. It goes up seven chakras from the first all the way up. I can't even see myself. All the way up to the seven um, uh, seventh chakra down into the Y jaw. So when you do this practice, you can also do the motion of bringing your hand from your first chakra and then moving it outward and then in. Okay, you can go out. Now this is a good active movement. Or you can just sit with your one hand on the top of your head and the other hand right below your navel or just sit visualizing the golden light bulb going from first, second, third to the Y jump, all the way up to the seventh soul house to the Y jump. Okay, so let us begin. Hey, Hong Hong, I see you. Hey, hung hung a si wong hung yo. Now visualize it in your body. Hey, hung hung a si wong yo. Hey, hung hung a si wong hung yo. Hey, hung hung a si wong yo. Hey, hung hung a si wong hung yo. Hey, hung hung a si wong yo. Hey, hung hung a si wong hung yo. Now, let me 
is everything is wonderful. We cleared the seven uh, soul houses, our wide jaw. These are the spaces in our bodies that if there are blockages there, what happens? We cannot heal, okay, or move forward. So now we're going to do the Jing channel, which is opposite. Now you go close to your body and go up the seven chakra like this. You close to your body, go up, and then you go out, okay? You can do this. And it's going to be the opposite as you see the word. Now, when you see the word yo, wang yi shi, ah, ho, hang, he, you're going to see it at the first time with the light bulb going up and then the light golden light bulb coming down your seven chakra. Then close your eyes and visualize it inside of your body. That light purifies. That light will remove the negative messages, the blockages that are creating challenges in ourselves. Okay? So let us do this part now. Yo Wong Yi Shi A Hong Hong Hei 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 Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. The reason why I am doing just one time the healing channel is because I want to do our first soul house. Oh, no, we're going to do, yes, our first soul house, which is really uh, very, very important for us to develop. And why is this first soul house important? It is like the generator. It is the driving force that will help us to really, like, you know, go sh pushing up the seven soul houses and down the Y jaw as well, clearing these areas. Now these, um, Master Shah always says the first soul house is very, very important to develop, okay? So many of us are working on our first soul house every single day. And the more you do it, the better. Because this is really, as I said, the generator for our whole body. So let us, um, let us start with the first soul house, okay? What happened? <laughs> Breathe in. First soul house. Hey. Visualize a golden ball. Hey. Getting brighter, but you want to condense it as well. Hey. doing this practice is wonderful because you ground yourself as well so 
you know when you're grounding yourself if you're doing the um, these powerful practices first of all we're going to do one time I think we have time for um, the second step we ground ourselves we boost our energy stamina vitality immunity because these um, soul houses in the lower abdomen area are our foundational energy centers so we need to boost that area this the uh, soul houses in our lower abdomen because the, the energy centers are there and you know you want like today is for us it's eight um, almost nine in the morning so the rest of the day you can feel energized and right now as you all know we need to have immunity so it boosts our immunity as well so you know even when you are not on the line and you're driving you can go uh, don't close your eyes but just focus on your first soul house and go hey and see that light bulb getting brighter and brighter bigger and bigger right okay so let us do the second step hey 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 see, this purifies it even more hey 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 bringing in more light condensing the golden light bulb hey 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 thank you thank you thank you so you know all of the practices that we do here we did it only for a couple of minutes actually if you have chronic ailments you should do it two hours or more and you know when you do practices in the field it is very very powerful um, I know my sister is on the line but I'd like to share she um, honored for her mother-in-law for the Dao calligraphy field um, membership session now her mother-in-law is a hundred and five five years old and so you know my my sister was worried because she wasn't eating much but she decided that even if she is not able to come on the line she registered for her mother-in-law and do you know she said when she got her um, blessing she got a Dao uh, I think a Da Ai golden light ball golden liquid spring treasure for her mother-in-law for whatever condition she's in and do you know she actually felt better the next day she started to eat a little more and my sister sent me um, a photo that she went to this you know they have these festival these Obong festival in Hawaii where they dance and they um, honor our ancestors I you know and I'm I was amazed that what a blessing and what being in the field and she's not in the field but my sister would call her name in to the Dao calligraphy field and you know and do the tracing and whatever you know blessings that she can so uh, I thank you Betty for sharing that with me so that I can share how powerful being in the field is so thank you thank you thank you and let's sing one last song we have to remember this wisdom. What we chant is what we become. So if you chant Da Quan Chu, you're going to have this forgiveness in your heart. Da I, you're going to be full of love, right? And if we chant happy, 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 you will be happy. Because, you know, sometimes we worry a lot, or we have some fear, or we're sad. We want to remove that message and bring happiness within us. And this is Master Shaw's Dao song as well, so let us sing it. Happy, 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 happy. Happy, 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 happy. Happy, 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 happy. Happy, happy, happy. happy. Again, smile when you see me. Happy, 
messages on the chat um, I'm not sure I'll maybe yes Brittany posted okay um, your workshop at the end of the month July 31st and August 1st wonderful and the registration link is there and also August's group wellness program the Dow calligraphy healing field that's been posted as well thank you Brittany thank you Brittany I didn't have my chat on and I said and she reminded me to end the recording <laughs> I'm glad that I saw it right now but I'm glad I kind of thought it because when I got on I said hey I didn't press recording so it must have been on but thank you Brittany and thank you everyone for joining today you know we're so very grateful that when so many of you are joining us you know to do these practices together so I love every single one of you and you know um Remember that we do have, uh, let me see, some of the reminders I did write on my uh, thing, that today we have, um, no, yes, today we have at 2 o'clock, Dow Calligraphy Field membership session with Laurie, and Tuesday we have the free Love Peace Harmony Field um, self-care and service practice, 10.30 to 11, and on Thursday, we have the evening. Every Thursday evening, we have the free Dial Calligraphy Field um, evening from 7 to 8 p.m. to experience the power of the Dial Calligraphy Field. And so, you know, Master Shah always says, if you want to know if a pear is sweet, you need to taste it. So this is a taste of the pear, of the Dial Calligraphy, so you can see how powerful it is. And as I shared my sister's story, it is very powerful. And you know, even if she's older in age, she's 105, right? We wanted her to have a very nice and, you know, peaceful, smooth, uh, good quality of life while she is still here on Mother Earth. And, you know, you don't know the uh, power of the source. They may have something planned for her so she can prolong her life a little more. So thank you, everyone. I love you all. Aloha and mahalo. Everyone, bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Annette. Bye. 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 Oh, thank you. Ah, I'm so happy thank to see you. Thank you. Ah, yes, all of you. Oh, my goodness. I shared about your grandma. Yeah, we, oh. we, we heard. We, we heard. We heard. <laughs> Oh, thank Bye. you. Thank you. Love, you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, that was. <laughs>